Today we're here to talk about vertical turbine impeller adjustments and the causes and effects if it's not properly adjusted. Uh, we have examples of improper adjustment and we have new component parts. Today we're going to show you component parts that were improperly adjusted in the field as a installation issue. Here we have a new impeller. You can see there's no damage on it. We have balance marks on it so components are balanced. That's a new impeller and as if the pump is not adjusted properly what it does is it will take and side load on the shaft, the impeller is dragging on the face, and it'll cause the impeller to self-destruct, and ultimately your pump's going to fail in the field, and then the next calls to us about my pump's not working. We're here today to show you the component parts of an AS spacer coupling and proper installation. When you receive the coupling, it's going to come together. You will unbolt the coupling. You'll remove this bag of components, which you've already removed. Um, so we've already taken the, the nuts off of this so we can take it apart um, easily. Remove your bolts. So you have four components. You have a motor hub. You have a spacer coupling. You have a adjusting nut which has threads in it and then you also have a pump shaft which has keys so extremely important on this um, AS spacer coupling is the split rings these split rings will come taped together we will take and uh, remove the tape off these split rings and what we want to do is, is show the machining marks to make sure we have the right faces face to face so on our machine marks, you can see, turn them over, and you can see the machine marks on this side match, the machine marks on this side match. And so for purposes later on, we want to make sure we mark these easily so when we install them, we know which sides go up. So the sides that you marked, just put those up on the motor and we'll demonstrate that momentarily. You also want to take a file and just lightly touch the surfaces and make sure there's no uh, make sure there's no uh, burrs on these so you want to make sure there's no burrs here turn them over same thing here and on your component parts you want to do exactly the same thing you want to take this file and go across the face and make sure you don't have any any burrs that are out of alignment it will cause this coupling to run out once that's completed will go to the installation on the pump itself after all parts have been checked. We have an A coupling similar to the AS spacer coupling. It'll come together just like you see it with the component parts in a bag with the split rings, keys. You'll disassemble this, take the bolts out, take the bag out, and you'll have your set of split keys, those kind of things, and we want to check everything with a file to make sure we don't have any burrs. We'll same installation procedure for this and AS space coupling is the same. Here at the job site, we're going to check uh, after checking motor rotation. We want to make sure we lock out tag out for safety purposes. So once that's done, we'll check. Uh, we'll start installing our component parts, which we have. We've already checked all the faces. We have split rings and keys. So we're just going to go ahead and start assembling. First part we're going to assemble is a motor hub. We're going to install. Everything should slide up freely. We'll install our motor key and get it started in the slot. You can hold that motor key in by turning backwards on that. We have our split rings where we marked on the X. We want to make sure our X is up. We're going to take the split ring and put it right over this keyway and then we'll take our other split ring with our X up and install it on the other side. After these are installed, this motor hub will slide down and it carries the thrust load. The split rings carry our thrust load on here. So we know we have everything's good and solid. Our next step is to put on the pump hub, which it actually has a 
a roll pin in there so it fits inside the keyway so the key doesn't drop out. We'll install our key into our pump hub keyway. And then we're going to install our adjusting up. We have a male register here. We have a female register here. They'll mate. We take and install the uh, adjusting nut. The adjusting nut is left-handed threads. We'll screw it down until we're even up here so we can install our spacer. So we've got this leveled out here. We're going to install our spacer coupling, which also has a female. So we have a male on our adjusting nut. We're going to install setting here and then to adjust our impellers we we turn our adjusting nut and our spacer ring until we get to a 3 16 lateral adjustment or whatever adjustment you need on your pump whether it's open or closed impellers here we have a 3 16 allen wrench we're going to use to just slide in here typically that's something that you would have in your bag we're going to slide it in hold down on your motor hub and once that touches, that's going to be our lateral setting. So we back that out, pull our Allen wrench out, and now we're going to insert the pump hub bolts. We're going to have two of these bolts that have standard nuts on it and not lock nuts for adjustment purposes to check our shaft run out. So I'm going to install these on this side. One there, then I'll turn, and then I'll install one more on this side. So we're 180 apart. There. So we're just gonna snug these up right quick. We wanna check our so we're gonna snug this up. In this case, we can turn this. Normally, you would be turning the motor. We're going to snug this area up. So once these are snug, we will check both sides again. We're going to snug this up. And as we have our impeller lateral already set, now we're going to install our bolts typically over the same holes in here and we're going to take and pull our lateral together now this this adjustment here actually sets the impellers on your short set pump or your deep set pump we pull our bolts together We'll turn, stick our other nut on. And we're going to go ahead and snug these down just like we did on the bottom. And this is the same for the ASA coupling, is just like the AS spacer coupling. All these component parts will be the same except for the spacer. So we're going to tighten this up, turn it 180 degrees, now at this point we're going to check our run out. We have an indicator installed here, we're going to check the shaft run out um, right above the packing or the mechanical seal to see this component. What we want to see is five thousandths or less, and then in this case we have right at four thousandths. So this will be good. We've continued to install our bolts and complete our task of installing the AS spacer coupling. These are lock nuts that we put on here, and you'll have to tighten them down with a wrench. Um,
typically install all of my bolts, make sure I have my whole alignment good, and then I complete the task of tightening the bolts up. After tightening all your bolts in place, check our run out one more time, and then we'll be ready to start this unit with the uh, so now we're ready to start our unit we'll take our indicator out make sure our packing adjustment is just finger tight make sure your adjusting spacer here is your packing follower is in the center so it's not dragging on your shaft and and keep it from getting hot. You may have uh, bypass lines on an A port or B port, depending on your pressure and of your stuffing box. When your pump is shipped to you, it will be shipped with a, an installation operation manual, vertical industrial turbine. These manuals are to help you install your pumps. Please read through uh, the manual before installation. Pay particular attention to safety. And if you have any problems on the back of the, the IOM manual, we have the number to our office. You can reach customer service or field service at any time.